So there's an error on the sim on show fields on line um, 32. So um, we're going to copy exactly what we have here. I hope this is not messing with your brain because if you do odd guest, odd guest will return through if this user is not logged in. But if you now put um, this, it means that this user is logged in. If you put, if you negate it. So if we go to this place and look for line, basically we should look for auth. Control F auth. Okay, this is the line we're looking for. So we want to make sure first the user is logged in before we check any other thing. The user is logged in. And so I want to put the rest of the conditions inside a bracket. All right, beautiful. So now let's go check, refresh this page, and um, see what else it will throw up. Of course, the same kind of error on line 32. We're going to do the same thing, search for where there is auth. Here, we paste the same, put every other thing inside the statement. So the user must be logged in before any of those conditions should attempt to work finally we have it all right so this kind of makes sense uh, so this is the page I would want this guy to go to this part so that this screen can be divided into two properly but generally this is the kind of thing we need we need somebody to show up and uh, see our web page and see the payments page directly so let's fix that something is obviously wrong because we're logged out now uh, if you scroll down, you're going to see the reason here. This if statement executes only when someone is logged, uh, logged in. So if I go up, um, I'm looking for it. This if statement from here, the whole of this code will show up only if somebody, somebody is logged in and is the person that created this post. So, but the thing is that this div, the bottom of this div, this is the, the start of the div, the bottom kind of falls into the if statement. We need to put it outside. All right. So, it needs to be under. Once it's like this, everything will be sorted. So, we'll come and refresh. And that's it. It's sorted now. All right. So, um, somebody could always be uh could always easily just come here scan this qr code and pay from this page it's simple it's that simple now the other thing we can do is uh, we can manually add the button here for payment so when they click on it it takes them to paypal or whatever site they can then make their payment but before we do that i want to clear up some of these names that are showing up as infom and in the login page and sign up page if you go to login see this name we have to do it in the next um, one or two videos so that we can get right to payments all right so that we can somebody can click here and make a payment 